humanitarian, sweetness brought the same determination and effort that made him unparalleled on the field. And Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh will receive. Green Bay, which goal will you defend? In the end zone, Brown will take it out. He forced him out. And a 37-yard return by the rookie Antonio Brown. On a 3-4, as do the Steelers. B.J. Raji is in the middle, then the linebackers, and we'll be saying a lot of single blocking. They're up front. On second down and six, Mendenhall gets it, and he goes down immediately. A loss on the play of four, and Frank a muff punt by Tremont Williams, and let's see who gets on top. Yeah, I think that was the bigger thing, Joe, that Tremont Williams, you know, sometimes you get into a game like this, you don't know how these young players, how their nerves are going to be, but I don't think that was the case. I think it was just the fact that Sam Shields was right there in his lap and he was worried about him and so there this is a defense that is coordinated by Dick LeBeau who is a 73 year old Hall of Famer it's a 3 4 defense. play action Rodgers throws gets hit too high for Jordy Nelson and Aaron Rodgers ends up on his back Aaron Rodgers Rick Kiesel right here he just twists and he keeps playing and they turn him loose. They thought they had two guys on him and you know, Aaron Rodgers had Ferrier back in his lap but he still delivered a perfect throw here. You're going to see him who was in protection. He's got to go attack Ferrier because Ferrier even though he is he's been in this league a long time. He is a physical player. Mastays had a very good postseason drills this one deep and Jared Bush can't make the play. Into the end zone from Pittsburgh. Greenfield neighborhood grew up a Steeler fan and now he runs the Packers first down Pittsburgh you see Dave Johnson here in the job that he does this guy is an absolute load he is very good in this position as a tight end player playing the fullback spot and you see Richard Mendenhall Last week in the championship game, he was exceptional in running the football after contact. And again, he does not go down easily. You go down low on Richard Mendenhall, you are not going to get him to the ground. Fibbit Johnson. Tonight's cam is sponsored by Bud Light as we get a chance with this cable cam to dip down behind the offense. Roethlisberger slings it through the hands of Heath Miller incomplete and it's fourth down. Opening day running back and their top guy, Ryan Grant, week one, and Jermichael Finley, their top tight end in October. I would like to be able to spread out this Pittsburgh defense. They feel that their third and fourth wide receivers are better than the third and fourth defensive backs for the Steelers. They'd like to get Greg Jennings then in the slot position as well and work the middle of the field. And that's not lost on Dick LeBeau. You know, in talking with Mike Tomlin about how they were going to handle the defense. Nine and three quarters yards. And they are going to be, it appears, inches short of a first down. So here come the bigger bodies. Three tight ends check in. James Starks at running back. And this is literally third and inches. There's the start for Aaron Rodgers. Alex is thrilled we just put the camera on him at that moment. Being fed popcorn. <laughs> Rodgers in trouble gets rid of it and finds Brandon Jackson who takes it inside the Pittsburgh 40 and for the first time a team is in the opponent's territory that was good for 14. Now as a play caller he's still mixing it up and we knew that he would coming in because even though this Pittsburgh defense has been so dominant against the run number one in the league this year one of the best all time in the history of the game. Rodgers, Jordy Nelson, touchdown, Green Bay. You get one on one on the outside against William Gay, and you see the hand check right there. Just a perfectly thrown ball by Aaron Rodgers. Puts it right where it needed to be. William Gay unable to react to it. Touchdown for the Packers. That came on third and one. And an iron play 80 yard drive ends in a 29 yarder to Jordy Nelson.
They can get you a lot of different ways. It's number 80. Pretty good combination Green Bay throws at you with Rodgers and his play caller Mike McCarthy the head coach. Trying to settle Aaron Rodgers into a rhythm and now he's completed five straight including the touchdown to Jordy Nelson. Well, I think Mike McCarthy is such an excellent play caller and he talks about it. His first objective coming into the game is trying to get his quarterback into a rhythm. And he has done that here in this first quarter. And it was really before this role that the Packers have been on and McCarthy told us I have a championship quarterback and I'm going to use him. And he's ridden him here to the Super Bowl. Antonio Brown from the end zone penalty flag flies. Bigby can't bring him down and Antonio Brown is out across the 40 but there's a flag back at the 14 yard line. In that throw he's unable to get anything on it. Nick Collins then comes across from the safety position to get the interception. This was a pump fake. They're trying to get a shot down the field. But because of the inside pressure. Roethlisberger unable to get anything on that throw in an easy interception. Brett Swain on the stop a 12 yard return by Moore. Here's Nick Collins right here. So here's what happens when the pump fake goes to that side. It immediately draws Nick Collins to that sideline. If, if Ben Roethlisberger had pumped Nick Collins down the middle of the field that holds Nick in the middle. Collins probably doesn't make that interception but instead trying to influence the corner. It brings the safety into play that combined with the pressure. The play just didn't have a chance. Steelers talked about going to an empty set backfield, spreading out the Packers, throwing the ball. It's something we've not seen much of. You know what I find here, Joe, that's on left guard Chris Kimowatu, the one who gave up the big hit on the interception with Howard Green going right over the top of him. You know, you watch this game here in this first half, and from the locker room but starting corner Bryant McFadden left with a hip pointer he was out on those last few plays when the touchdown pass went to Jordy Nelson William Gay was in coverage replacing him and it's a left shoulder injury on frozen left leg yeah you know he came out off of the play action and got set up Heath Miller actually ran a good route and there was nobody in the area of Ben Roethlisberger he takes a step to throw it and the left knee. Well, this was the concern for Dom Capers coming into the game because you've got to maintain gap integrity. And as soon as you give Roethlisberger the middle of the field like that, they're in man coverage. Nobody then is looking at the quarterback. And if you don't contain him within the pocket and he breaks contain, there's nobody left then to account for him. So you're right, Joe. Bad knee and all. It's enough still to pick up the first down. Yeah, I picked. There are the stats, and as you look at that lineup, you see number 71, Flozo, Flozo Adams, back at right tackle. And now Emmanuel Sanders back to the sideline. And not happy. Those young rookie wide receivers, as you said, Troy, have given this team some juice on the outside. Antonio Brown and Sanders. Mike Wallace brought down immediately by Collins. And Collins with a tackle at the 15 short of a first as they do a great job on the back end even when they catch the ball in front of them of getting receivers to the ground. And now driver limps off. Yeah no that was a good job there defensively by Pittsburgh because you know their offense was able to at least move the ball down after going down 14 to nothing and come away with a field goal. And they don't give up any kind of yardage. They don't give up any points. Now they're going to give the chart Mendenhall a lot early. The combination of Dennis Dixon and Charlie Batch, a quarterback. Here is Mendenhall bouncing it to the outside. And a good run by Richard Mendenhall, but a flag is down. A gain of seven. But holding number 83, offense, 10 yard penalty, still first down. They get Heath Miller for a hold, which Wipes away a seven yard run. Yeah, Heath Miller right here in the middle. And now we welcome you inside our broadcast booth. So we've seen Green Bay do it defensively with the Nick Collins interception for the touchdown. And they have been able to move it. They had that sustained drive on the touchdown to Jordy Nelson. Well, you look at them. I mean, what Pittsburgh has been known for is big plays down the field. They were second in the net national. And they all talked about Roethlisberger being the key. 
him being the key because he can extend plays. Now, if he's hobbled and we've seen him limping around a little bit, Joe, even though he did pick up that one first down with his legs, you know, how much then is that going to be a factor? Sets up has a great pocket, good protection, and now he takes off. And he goes down at the 40, hit hard by Zombo, and he wasn't alone. Back down to Chris Myers. Well, Joe, the team doctor came over to Roethlisberger prior to this series, uh, checked his left knee, and asked Ben. He said, "Are you able to run? Can you keep running?" And Ben Roethlisberger, you think I'm going to come on blitzes, and that'll happen. But because Ben is so good at using his legs, he was hanging around waiting in case. Roethlisberger took off. Yeah, you know, he's very disciplined. So sometimes he just can't go all out and go after him the way that he would like. He can do more of that when they're in some of their five man pressures, however. They felt that they were going to have to get a couple of turnovers, takeaways in this game to have a chance to win. And I know that, you know, in listening to him, he really thought it would be more along the lines of knocking the ball out from Richard Mendenhall. Felt that he tends to carry the ball a little bit loosely, but. You know, we've seen it all season. We've certainly seen it in these playoff games. These guys on the back end for the Green Bay Packers are ball hawks, and they go after. Well, it's coming. Green Bay picks it up, and there's Jordy Nelson. Already has a touchdown, and now adds another first down. Good for 17. Really great protection up front. And James Starks, who has done a nice job in postseason of running the ball, and now he's going to be asked to step up in there and pick up the blitz. He does a good job and then on the outside Bryant McFadden who had left the game is back in even with injury and that's who Aaron Rodgers said we want to go after it. when he was with the Arizona Cardinals last year Aaron Rodgers went after him and he said he's coming back for some more and I'm going to give it to him. And here's what we talked about coming in they put Greg Jennings in the slot he's here and then look at Farrier. He's the guy who has to carry that up the seam. Greg Jennings just goes right by him, but a perfect safety's in with the pass. But that's what Mike Tomlin talked about all week long to his defense. Greg Jennings, third receiver in. He is going to run down the seam, and that's where they're going with the football. We've got to be able to I'll tell you, looky right there, Ryan Clark comes within inches of being able to get a hand on that ball. If Aaron, if Aaron Rodgers leads Jennings to where he makes a perfect catch, there's a good chance that ball's intercepted. That's that's a great job by Aaron Rodgers knowing what the coverage was and knowing where the ball had to be and where it needed to be placed to give his guy a chance. So the Green Bay. That's how dominant the Packers have been. The Packers defensively were tied for the second highest total in sacks trailing the Steelers by just one. Well neither one of these defenses are, are teams that you want to get down. Like the Steelers are down right now to the Packers. Well, Sam Shields, he came underneath it. If he had just stayed back in coverage, he might have been able to make a play on that ball. He went after it, but Roethlisberger got it up. 